Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley. Today we're doing another version of GP Plays All the Games, this time with a giant ROM 3 gem. This was a game gem that happened a few years back, shh, don't tell anyone, better late than ever, uh, where developers were inspired by the giant bomb. They also had two themes, E3 presentation and or bleak cyberpunk dystopias. I'm playing all the games that are in this jam for a minute each, 10 per video. Links to the individual games will be in the description so that you can check them out further. If you like any of the content I create or if you want to help me prioritize getting these game jams recorded, consider supporting me on Patreon so I don't take ages to get to these jams so I can prioritize them. Links to that will also be in the description. Alright, thank you very much for watching and liking, commenting, and subscribing. Next. We're playing CBSI at E3. Cool. <laughs> well, it's still putting on presentation. Alright, thanks everyone sitting down here in the theater and everyone watching at home at giantbomb.com slash chat. GameSpot show is a great showing, didn't they? I can't wait to get my hands on Kish of Death. Now it's our turn, I have to say we're part of the greatest games lineup in CBSI history. Is everyone ready? We've got six games straight tonight, I'm just going to get off the stage and let them speak for themselves. Wait a minute, video games don't talk? Ah, we have fun. Okay. Video games could talk. Shoot the lock, we'll start with. So I guess these are like six mini games we get to play. Did I do it? Got it, got it. Sometimes it's acting like I'm not shooting the lock, but I am. Oh, wait, lockness? Oh, wait, it's telling me different locks. Lock. Locky? Lock. 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 I should have paid more attention. Locky is this old guy. Okay, watch. Ah, I see. This is interesting. Oh no, everything's confusing though. No, it's just It's just Cool. Next. We're playing VR Kicker. I think that this game is going to want me to use a VR. I don't have a VR, but it did have keyboard controls. So I don't know, I figured maybe, maybe that will... Oh. Had a lot of controls though. It seemed like WAD were the best ones. But I've already got, all right, so it's like to buy more upgrades and stuff is like WAD. Well, first we have to like tap a lot. Alright, so we got computers can edit better. We can buy more software. Oh, we didn't buy more software. I think we bought more editing stuff. I gotta reset everything. Like a noob. Let's get to 50. Alright, bought some software. Always nice. And we'll do our video editing power, and then we'll get just a bit more software. Quick buy some equipment. Just keep upgrading our video editing power. There we go. Now yeah, it looks like a clicker, and I'm sure in VR I could look around and it would look pretty cool. Next. We're playing Pierce's Reality. Oh. Um, hey there, welcome to Giant Bomb. It's a restaurant about sandwiches. We're a hell of a st we're a hell of stoked to have you on your team. For this you've hired for is the livelihood of our industry. That's right. You're going to be a senior sandwich editor before we begin. Let's uh, customer. Blah blah. I can't read a lot of it to be completely honest. So, wow, there's a lot of stuff. You have 30 seconds to memorize the sandwich index, starting now. Wow. All right, I can barely read it. All right, the lag roundup. What are you waiting for? Your customers are here. Make the sandwiches now. All right. What do you want? No. No. You just said no. Hitler. Hitler. 
Which one's Hitler? I don't know. Which one? China doesn't care. China doesn't. Do I just make all of the sandwiches? Don't talk to the customers. Crap. Now I don't know what any of the sandwiches are. I figured I'd read. Everything's broken. The bombs will hit in 45 seconds. You are not dismissed. Keep making sandwich. Bombing is no excuse. Okay, but how do I get bread? Ugh. I didn't make good sandwiches. Next. We're playing Terror of Cyber Recruit. In the year 2177, Giant Bomb fans attempt to construct a replication of the Dan Recruit is conscious via consciousness via advances in quantum computing. It proves to be a costly error. The AI, now known as Cyber Recruit, is re wreaking havoc on everything he deems nerd shit, destroying cyber cities from the outside. You must destroy his rogue program before he destroys the internet itself. Controls, mouse to move, left mouse button to shoot. Watch out for his deadly beam attack. Ooh, this is interesting. There we go. Done. Oh, but also I ran into more of his fire and also died. Well, that's a simple game, but it's nicely made. Well, it's nicely made at the start. Like, this whole moving forward, the like, depth to it is quite nice. Next. We're playing demo delivery. Ready to compile, press space to begin. Warning. Code base unstable. Compile program may crash mid execution. No errors and begin to compile anyway. Yes. You asked for it. Compile of E3 demo begun. All right. Hopefully this is a good compile. I don't know. There we go. This is a one button end fall runner. There are two and a half minutes before the three stage demo begins. An intern must deliver the demo build to the convention center before that. Jump, space, or the up arrow. You have triple jump. Uh, it does say at the end when you complete it, it does open up like a, a YouTube video. Finish the map. We won't make it that far. I like the running animation of our main character. It's upside down the flag. A little spike suddenly. So I thought we were doing well. Ah, uh, ice stage. Ooh, we've got falling ice. Next. We're playing Cyberpunks, last but not least, of course. Um, dear, can you read me? Dear, dear. Oh, good, I can read you loud and clear now. These graphics are nice. I see you're already at Mission Site. Good. I'm sure you're wondering why I've called you it, Duder. As you know, the year is 2014. Every video game on the face of the planet has mysteriously disappeared. The G-O-T-Y incident. The E3 event this year would be the first video game released in nearly 20 years. Needless to say, this is a monumental event in the history of gaming and games journalism. What's more, Agent Tracksuit was able to crack the encryption on the press kit. I hack what other doctors won't. I'm the doctor of computers. If Tracksuit's intel is good, we're not talking about just any game here, we're talking about windjammers. This is where things get complicated. At roughly 1,800 hours, a distress signal was sent from the site of E3 claiming that the broadcasting signals had been compromised. The hackers in question? Gamebomb.ru with full control over EU's communications relay, GameBomb.ru can maintain exclusive coverage of the E3 event. Well, naturally, we cannot, bo we naturally cannot bo abide this. There's a lot of sickness in GameBomb.ru, and we've got the medicine. We had originally de uh, designed this mission to Giant Beast, but communication with Agent V-Bomb and the Wolf have gone dark. That's where you come in, Duder. We need you to jack into the inter infected E3 servers and infiltrate the database through cyberspace. Tracksuit and I will attempt to mine data from Giant Bomb HQ, where you need to cause a diversion inside the database to distract Giant Bomb's drones while we also do so. How are you supposed to distract Giant Bomb? Prescribe them pain. The longer you put up a fight, the more information we'll be able to download. If we can download the entirety of the data package, we should be able to rehost the broadcast from a secure network. And of course, be on the lookout for other hacker teams trying to secure the information for themselves. Run GFB has been uncharacteristically quiet the last couple of weeks. Ah, pleasant company excluded, of course. Now suit up and get ready to jack in. We'll begin the data transfer on your signal. Alright. Jack in. The duder. This is all fun. 
Sure, it's fun. <laughs> this is a nice game. Right. I can't really tell what I can walk on and what I can't walk on. That's ammo. New gun. New gun makes a short of ammo fast though. Or just real running out of ammo. Cool, this is like the most polished game of the lot. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and liking and commenting and subscribing. Bye!